The Layer Stackup Manager in Proteus enables users to provide more information about their PCB and how it will be made. It's also used by Proteus in various places during board layout. The Layer Stackup can be launched from the Technology menu on an existing project and also forms part of the new project wizard. The first screen provides a grid with copper layers and also cores and pre peg layers. The Stackup Wizard provides an easy way to configure your board with the number of layers and board style options being the two most important fields. A board style with external pairs will use a core for top copper and a core for bottom copper on multi layer boards and will then build inward towards the center. By contrast, a board style with internal pairs will have a core at the center and build outwards to the exterior layers. This is explained in more detail in the help documentation. Once the layer set is established, we can specify plain layers by changing the type and optionally names of layers which will contain no tracking. This step is important because plain layers are treated differently when routing the board. Assuming we already have a schematic and a netlist at this point, we can add the power planes to the plain layers directly. This button will be disabled in the new project wizard. The thickness of the layers is used to calculate via depth when length matching tracks. The drill span tab is where we specify what drill passes will be made when the board is manufactured. The default is through hole only, but you can create a set automatically from the stack up or manually by adding and removing drill passes. It's often useful to flick across to the board view to see a visual of your setup. This set of drill spans will be used automatically by Proteus when placing a via during routing, so you should make sure that only necessary drill spans are included. The board view tab provides a cross section preview of your stack up for inspection and reference. The main place Proteus uses stack up information is when routing the board. For example, in our stack up, if a route is placed between inner 2 and inner 3, the via used will be a buried via. If we route from a power pin and double click to place a via, Proteus will first check if there is a plane layer underneath or above the mouse position. If there is, it will automatically compare nets and if they match, it will complete the connection for us. Proteus also uses the stack up information as an aid to quality assurance. For example, during the pre-production check, there are tests that all holes are on valid drill ranges and there are no tracks on plane layers. Finally, the layer stack up information is also exported in the readme file that accompanies the Gerber output sent to your board manufacturer. A report of the layer stack can be produced in the project notes module. This will detail the layer construction of the board either for manufacturing or review purposes.